Uh, so Randy was kind of asking, you know, is there a way to do some math uh, within Blackbird to set your profit targets? Um, and the answer is no. Um, Bloodhound doesn't do math and Blackbird doesn't do math there. Um, but when we look at the examples here, so this is possible to do, not as it's written, but you know, you just have to look at this and you can do the math yourself um, and implement that into Blackbird. So, all right, so let's get, let me get Blackbird open here and let's get an order started. All right, and let's get a profit target started. So I'll start with the two ATR profit target. And so let's open up the menu here, go into the initial placement for the profit target, right? And so we can see the ATR is listed in the offset section, right? Because the ATR is calculating uh, an offset distance, right? So the ATR doesn't calculate a price right it calculates a distance right and so you have to take that distance and add it to the entry price right you take your entry price of the position and then you add this offset distance right now if you're using an indicator that actually calculates the price right so an indicator you know that plots on the price panel right if that indicator is plotting on the price panel, then it is most likely, well, it is providing you a literal price to set your profit target or stop loss, right? So if you're using that kind of indicator that, that plots out a price point, then you would use the indicator value up here, right? So the indicators up on top are for indicators that literally provide a price um, point uh, or a price value, you know, to literally set the order at, right? So indicators used on the in the offset section are only for indicators that calculate an offset distance, a distance, right? So right, let's put that back. Okay, so now getting back to the example here, right? So Randy wants to use, um, a, actually a five period ATR here. So let's, we'll go in here and fine tune this here, right? So if you don't want to use a 20 period ATR, um, we can adjust that to five period, you know, whatever you want it to be. There we go, there. Now, Randy wants to use a, a seven ATR times two. Well, since this is, all math, right? A seven ATR is seven times the ATR. Then he wants to multiply another two. So uh, seven times two is 14. So you would simply just increase the factor by 14, right? Or up, increase the factor to 14, right? And there you go. Now you have seven ATR times two, right? So you can do that all internally there. You know, I don't see why you would need or even want to make it more complicated by saying, okay, 7 ATR, and then, oh, and then I want to multiply that by 2. Why not just multiply it by 2 to begin with? And then you have a 14 ATR. Right. So now the second one here, we have a 7 ATR plus X ticks, right? And that also is literally... Uh, what this lower section interface is for, right? So you have a tick based offset here. So we can take, you know, XX, whatever, and I'll just go 22. There you go. So you now have uh, 22 ticks, which is going to be added to this, to the seven ATR calculation, right? And there you go. So that's at least, you know, for these examples, that's how you would do that math part there. Now, if you want to get even more fancy with the math, you now that that's just, you know, currently that's just not possible uh, with Blackbird. So, um, you know, we do have a bunch of enhancements.
uh, supposedly in the works, you know, kind of halfway done to uh, greatly um, enhance the offset section here, um, such as, you know, maybe you don't want to use ticks, maybe you want to use points, you know, and uh, it's been such a long time now. I don't remember everything that was kind of on the drawing board to enhance this offset section. So, but there are a bunch of things on the drawing board, you know, to enhance this. So, and with any luck, uh, hopefully, I think the programmers are finally um, going to start working on that. Um, so here shortly. So for the end of this year, and at least for the beginning of next year, um, uh, you know, I think Jeremy and his team there um, are supposed to be working on or focusing more on enhancing Blackbird um, and less on Bloodhound. So, but no promises, we'll see where that goes. All right, now, so that's that part. Um, now, there was kind of a second part to Randy's question here, and let me pull up the image here. So, what Randy was, um, uh, so Mike basically kind of explained, you know, Read, read the documentation to give a short answer. Um, and uh, so and so, Randy emailed back with this screenshot, noting a couple things here, right? So he has a, uh, uh, a well, this is actually a one ATR profit target, right? So let's put this seven ATRs away. So this is a one ATR profit target with a, well, actually that doesn't matter. So it's a one ATR profit target, right? And he took a screenshot here showing, well, hey, the ATR is up at seven, right? And it's actually seven point one six. However, this a this profit target was calculated at twenty three ticks, right? So we put a little that little measuring ruler there, right? And so twenty three ticks uh, calculates out to five point seven five. ATRs, right? 5.75 ATRs. So, you know, so basically Randy's wondering, well, what's going on here? And let's see, five ATRs, yeah, it's right about there. Yeah. So, now, part of this image is clipped. So, um, yeah, mental note, guys, don't clip images because you're stripping away critical information. And it just takes getting you know getting an answer it just takes longer when you strip out information by cropping your images when you send them in so because the one thing i don't know and this would answer why this profit target was calculated at 5.75 atrs you know versus 7.16 atrs and the reason and so what i suspect is going on is that Blackbird has the calculate set to on price change or on each tick, right? Because it looks like this entry price here, um, uh, or the yeah, this entry price was entered while this bar was forming. Uh, that's yeah, that would be my assumption here. And so the other thing to note is that the ATR uh, period being used to calculate this profit target, the ATR period is a five bar period, right? So if if Blackbird's calculate was set to on price change, then the ATR is also set to on price change. That's how NinjaTrader works. So if this bar was just forming, right, this bar is only a, a tick or two in length. Right, so the ATR of this bar, as it started to form, is going to be like, yeah, you know, uh, half a point, maybe a quarter of a point, and since it's a very short ATR, only five, five bar period, well, if you have a super small bar, it's going to skew, you know, the length of all the other bars, and that would absolutely, that would what. Uh, when you back engineer that, uh, right, when you uh, yeah do the math, that would answer why this profit target 
you know, when it was set, it would, it was, you know, this profit target was calculated as if the ATR was about five and a half to five and three quarters at the moment that the order was filled, right? So since Randy's here, I'm going to look to see if Randy can verify that Blackbird's calculate was set to on price change or on each tick. And surprisingly, uh, yeah, Randy hasn't commented on that yet. So, um, right. So in any case, so yeah, you know, so just keep in mind that when you have your, and let's, let's, let me back up here. All right. So you can see up here, Blackbird's calculate setting. Right, that OBC stands for on bar close. So uh, let's go into the strategy here. And yeah, I wish Ninja would make this a little more readable here, but you can see that the calculate is set to on bar close. So if you set Blackbird to on price change or on each tick, all the indicators running inside of Blackbird also match whatever the calculate mode is for the strategy, right? There's no way to circumvent that, right? That That is a operational requirement of NinjaTrader. So, right? So if Blackbird is calculating on each tick around price change, then your ATR is also doing the same thing. Right. Yeah. So bottom line here is with this profit target, you know, calculated at about, well, 23 ticks. Yeah. Is 5.75 uh, on the ATR. And when this bar was first opened, it was really small. And so it would skew the other larger baller bars, you know, and it would take, you know, the current. 70 ATR and it would shrink it down. Well, actually the previous bar here, we can see the previous bar, it looked like it closed at about 6.8, something like that, 6.8, 6.75, whatever. Somewhere around there in the upper six uh, values. And then with the small bar, right, it would shrink the ATR down to five something, you know. And so that's why, um, you're right. So when you're when you're evaluating, when you're doing calculations like this, back engineering stuff, and your calculate is is on price change or on each tick, right? You can't take a screenshot and look at your indicator values later on, right? You have to take the screenshot immediately when something was calculated, right? So the screenshot needs to be taken immediately. Uh, when the entry order is filled, as soon as that entry order is filled, um, even before it was filled, that's when you need would need to take a screenshot and look at the ATR value, right? Because Blackbird, right? Um, Blackbird, before it um, submits the entry orders, Blackbird goes and validates, right? It does a quick mathematical check to validate the profit target and stop loss uh, prices there uh, before it fills your entry order. Because, you know, if you want exit orders, um, Blackbird has a little safety check built into it to validate your exit orders to make sure they're not going to get canceled, you know, as best it can, right? And if it determines that one of your exit orders is invalid, then it will not place the entry order, right? Because nobody wants to go into a position naked if your intention is to have, you know, two exit orders. So Blackbird does a quick safety check as mentioned. Um, so Blackbird, yeah, so Blackbird goes in, you know, it it grabs the ATR, you know, does a quick calculation says, okay, yep, yeah, you know, the, the price calculated for this profit target looks valid the price calculated for the stop loss looks valid and then it submits the the entry order you know which will get filled you know a split second later yeah so the point being is you know you'd need to take a screenshot literally like just before the entry order gets submitted or you know at least right when 
the entry order is gets filled and you can see it on the screen so so all right so that is that question there